Welcome to Stormwatch, the esports news show that is enjoyed but not sponsored by Blizzard. I'm Jinxie Cat, and let's get into the news. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. However, this is week four, so if you're surprised. The Heroes Lounge Season 15 signups close on the 25th, with the new season starting soon. The seating took place today, so head over to heroeslounge.gg for the seatings. Make sure to subscribe to Stormwatch for your news as the season progresses. This week, we dropped one more team in the Nexus Gaming Series Storm Division. TF Sugrag beat out Anti-Clown Association to stay alive and try and push their way through the lower bracket. In the upper bracket, though, Wildheart Esports lost an intense 3-2 to the team with the least amount of CCL players drafted from it. Heavy impact. The Season 1 champions who beat out many of the CCL players continue to show that NA Esports are just as good, maybe even better, than Esports around the globe. Heroes Esports fans can definitely find a good home in Storm Division. The lower bracket finals are this Thursday the 29th at 7 p.m. EDT and will be casted by the Crushinator and myself, so make sure to tune into the twitch.tv forward slash Nexus Gaming Series channel to see the games live. Um, in Masters Clash, we want to start by apologizing and saying we are so very sorry for getting this schedule wrong for week nine. We've been using the official website, but have been informed since by the Masters Class Twitter that that was incorrect. So moving forward, we will not be including Masters Class schedule information in the news until we have a more reliable source. We will continue, however, to record the results, starting with another change at the top of the table with 30K3 wanting the Hardos. 30K showed up hard this week to take the number one slot in Masters Clash. Go Next scored a surprise win over Arthur Straightharm. And meanwhile, Chili Mountain, the only full CCL team lost out to Soundless in the middle of the table. Chili Mountain have shown commitment to these players across two regions with them sitting in the middle of the table. We'll have to keep an eye on them to see if this investment pays off. Hopefully they don't have to hand over their first pick again. There will be four Masters Class games this weekend, so check out the Heroes Twitch at 6 p.m. CEST to catch those games. The CCL Icebreaker Tournament concluded with Tetcher and I getting almost every single ranking wrong in our tier list on the CCL Roundtable, which you can watch directly after this. Chili Mountain were able to equal their CCL Icebreaker Tournament beforehand and their Masters Class performance by winning both one series and ending up in the middle of the pack. Not one of the four teams from the last season made it to the top four of this icebreaker tournament with one of the teams not even making it to season two. RIP crowd control. Storm impressed a lot of people by making their way to the finals, but ended up tripping over 30K. Turns out they're a pretty big stepping stone. 30K came across second in the season one CCL icebreaker and are now First this time round, between CCL and Masters Class, 30K as an organization are looking strong. When asked for a statement, the owner of 30K's Michael Udall said, EU is just so OP, so we'll have to wait until 30K plays at land. Honestly though, so proud of our players. Imagine thinking we'll get lands anytime soon. TikTok wisdom. CCL will start its full season on the 1st of April, and you can check out the mainstream over at twitch.tv forward slash Heroes Hearth. Our own Tetris live co-stream will be available every other week and have vodcasts in between. Tetris co-stream is streamed on twitch.tv forward slash Tetris, and we promise you won't see a screensaver. In other news, DreamHack is back in the Heroes of the Storm esports scene with bi-weekly NA Cups from May 14th to June 25th, leading up to the finale at DreamHack's hashtag DreamBeyond event this summer. Starting July 26th, a 1K prize pool will be each week, and there will be a 1K playoff with a show match versus a CCL team. More details are still being announced on at Bemi esports on Twitter, so stay tuned there or check here for more information. And if you want to see your favorite Stormwatch host casting dream hack, maybe let them know that we're looking. Girls Gang Squad continue with Seismic Slam Arenas being dethroned by the No Melon Players allowed roster of Mischief, Alicia, Silver Belt, Cheekies, and Rockwell. Jazzeline streams all these games over at twitch.tv forward slash Jazzeline, so make sure to go there and support Heroes of the Storm Women's Esports. That's it for this week. Tune back in next week for more Heroes news. Did we miss anything? Join our Discord and let us know below, or just stop by and say hi. You can also support the crew through any of the donation links below, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hero CCL Icebreaker Tournament. My name is Valhara. I don't know. Oh, God, I look back. I see what's happening. Yeah, Grubby is just speed running a little meal real quick for us, everybody. <laughs> oh, 
Can we look at that? Can we just look at that? What a beautiful <laughs> sight. What an <laughs> absolute beautiful, beautiful <laughs> Sometimes, sometimes... Now you know! Sometimes your camera, like, you, uh... Hold up a little bit, so, uh... You, just, 